this just then uh, there was the explosion that happened in Niagara Falls uh, Ontario New York State and uh, it had to, uh, to deal with a uh, car uh, that exploded uh, by uh, striking a uh, a border booth uh, so the driver and the passenger they were in uh, the New York State side of the border, the U.S. side. And as now, uh, witnesses, uh, including a Canadian uh, citizen who was uh, just uh, spending some time in the U.S. side of the border, uh, has uh, reported that the driver of the car was uh, flooring the car suddenly from 100 miles per hour which in equivalent uh, in the metric uh, that's uh, at least 140 kilometers way above the speed limit that can get you uh, at least eight demerit points and your license taken away The car uh, struck uh, the booth and there was uh, something in the car that uh, made the car, once it made contact with the booth, the car exploded, the parts uh, went up in the air and the other parts, uh, they exploded uh, which blocked all 13 booths. Uh, which is uh, in the way to uh, go from USA to Canada. The driver and the passenger, uh, they uh, were killed. Uh, one of the victims was a Western uh, New York resident, uh, according to uh, investigators. And there were people who were wondering, how could uh, suddenly this explosion that was like really high happen? Because usually explosions that uh, they uh, recording cars, they don't explode like very uh, high. And they thought this was just made up, like AI generated a video. So all these uh, news networks, uh, they will be looking at this and uh, they would uh, get tricked into this thinking. And then some people, news networks are thinking that it was like a driver from the Canadian side going to the US uh, side of the border, which that was not true. Uh, so the Canadian... Uh, Resident who was just uh, spending some time in the uh, U.S. Uh, side of the border in Niagara Falls uh, done that and uh, apparently that was true. One uh, booth uh, agent uh, was uh, injured uh, and uh, was uh, taken to the hospital uh, that the agent uh, was uh, re released uh, later in the day. Uh, so that uh, booth agent uh, only to come to like minor injuries, uh, but you know it's an automobile explosion, and uh, those uh, parts are exploding every everywhere. There's sharp parts, of course. The engine on fire, you could get burnt. And due to the debris, uh, the license plate of the car was uh, so burnt that uh, they could not uh, read the uh, New York State uh, license plate. Uh, 
investigators uh, were uh, looking around uh, in the scene and there was like some sort of suitcase or briefcase on the scene uh, and uh, the bomb squad had to be called in uh, and uh, they were checking uh, if this uh, sort of suitcase or briefcase uh, was uh, did, it, did they have like a, a bomb or explosive in it uh, also that could also be tied into or that was the reason uh, and there were people who were thinking uh, suddenly how come this car would uh, suddenly just straight uh, drive into this booth and uh, suddenly like a suicide attempt uh, a terrorist uh, move uh, As you know, the Israel-Palestine uh, uh, war is uh, still going on in the Middle East. And some people uh, try to uh, tie to that and it, it, it doesn't have to do with that. And and investigators uh, also checked that no, there was no uh, terrorism uh, involved. Uh, and as you uh, know, uh, if you were drive a car, sometimes uh, your uh, your brake or uh, accelerator sometimes get stuck, and you got to make sure uh, you you uh, get your car to the side off to the right side of the road. Uh, so uh, and then cars can just pass by, and then you can uh, call nine one one. And then uh, you get the car towed and then go to the shop and the car gets fixed uh, and things will get better from on there uh, after you uh, pay up for any uh, problems with the car that needs to be fixed. So that happened at the Rainbow Bridge, which is the uh, heart of uh, Niagara Falls. But uh, since uh, they were thinking uh, this has to do be like a terrorist thing, uh, the Queenston Lewiston uh, border crossing, crossing, which is the northern uh, border crossing in the Niagara area of Ontario and uh, New York State. They closed that uh, second. They closed uh, the Peace uh, border crossing bridge, which connects Fort Erie, Ontario, and Buffalo, New York. They opened uh, the Peace uh, Bridge uh, border crossing, so uh, a lot of uh, people who are crossing the, the border at the, they went through uh, Fort Erie, uh, Buffalo first, and then they finally opened uh, the Queenston uh, Lewiston uh, border crossing, so people could uh, move back and forth from uh, Ontario and uh, New York. They still have uh, not opened the Rainbow Bridge or also named known as the Whirlpool Rapids uh, Bridge uh, because uh, right below, just a few um, meters away is like the rapids uh, of the, the Niagara River. And right very close to the Niagara Falls, uh, which uh, there is the Canadian Falls, uh, which is na named uh, Horseshoe Falls because of the shape is like a horseshoe. That's the one that uh, Americans, uh, they uh, cross the border just to see it from the Canadian side because it's more beautiful that, from that side. And then the American there's the, the American Falls, which is that uh, they have to uh, build a uh, sort of a sky uh, 
right back and then try to look right away just to see the falls from uh, Ryan is, uh, the general manager of the Buffalo and Fort Erie Public uh, Bridge and Authority uh, said that all four uh, Canada U.S. Uh, bridges uh, over the Niagara River had been closed out of abundance of caution while the Rainbow Bridge uh, investigation uh, continued. So that also includes the, the train tracks. Uh, so any trains that uh, connect uh, Union Station in uh, in uh, tr downtown Toronto, all and on the Maple Leaf route, and Grand Central Station, New York City. Or some trains that connect to uh, Penn Station. That was a temp. That's currently temporarily blocked. So, due to extreme measures, and uh, they think it was they think some terrorism in the, is involved. Uh, maybe not now. But maybe later. Or sometime during this uh, the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, with uh, US uh, Thanksgiving. On Thursday, uh, Black Friday. Uh, President uh, Joe Biden. Of the USA. Has a said some uh, things about the explosion and uh, is a closely following development according to White House. Uh, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau uh, informed the country, the parliament, that they were looking into the incident. So what is going on is uh, Justin Trudeau has said that we are taking this extraordinarily seriously. We are following up to try and get as many answers rapidly as possible. Additionally, measures are being uh, con Templated and uh, activated on all border crossing across the country. So the they're doing uh, some security checks at uh, the can all Canada U.S. Uh, border crossings uh, all the way from uh, from West Coast uh, all the way to uh, the Atlantic Coast. U.S. is a the security of a uh, homeland security. Alejandro uh, Mallorca uh, posted a statement on X, uh, formerly Twitter, also uh, reiterating that the incident does not appear to be terror-related. So that is a confirmation that this is not a terrorist uh, attack. But, well, while well, he uh, said that, uh, we will uh, continue to closely uh, coordinate with the states and uh, local officials. Uh, in Toronto, uh, the police uh, department is uh, said uh, it's increasing uh, patrols out of an uh, abundance of caution. And in New York City, Mayor Eric uh, Adams uh, said he's also uh, monitoring the incident. Uh, Eric Adams uh, said that the New York Police Department has already uh, enhanced security for Thanksgiving so the public will see increased security at locations all across New York City including entry and uh, egress points into and uh, out of the city. Now this is uh, too uh, silly. Uh, And it uh, means that uh, people who are driving really need to uh, 
be careful with uh, the driving uh, because that that got like one person uh, injured uh, and the two people killed possibly other people may have been injured uh, we just haven't heard of it because other people other agents uh, at that uh, Canada USA uh, from the USA to Canada side of uh, the border uh, checking they might have not gotten hurt because that was a big explosion but this happened in uh, the Niagara part and uh, this has uh, nothing to do with uh, New York City or Toronto nor uh, this have has any connection to Israel, Palestine. So it's, this is a too uh, much of an exaggeration on uh, Toronto and New York City's uh, part. Uh, it's a big scare for uh, People uh, in the uh, Niagara area, in the uh, Niagara region, Ontario, and uh, also uh, the area in, uh, in New York State. Because anyways, uh, Toronto always has rush hour traffic and slow traffic at certain uh, parts of the city. Scarborough always has uh, slow uh, traffic and also Etobicoke uh, also slow traffic and the west part of North York and also the, the Gardner Expressway is always slow Sometimes uh, it, it might be uh, fast, but chances are very slow And rush hour in the evening it is just slow everywhere also due to that the, there's construction going on now uh, and that they're trying to widen the highway that's uh, so a more uh, multiple lanes uh, which uh, that was, that's not going to really help And New York City should uh, just be focusing on their Macy's uh, sponsored uh, parade, which is always a big hoot, <laughs> a great uh, thing uh, for uh, New York City. No one's going to be uh, tra crashing uh, into uh, traffic in the Lincoln Tunnel or like uh, any uh, their uh, the bridges or other tunnels we're coming into uh, JFK airport uh, carrying explosives let's not over exaggerate things uh, and just make sure that drive safe if something that happens in your car do what you need to do, pull over the side of the road, uh, otherwise uh, you're just uh, going to get yourself hurt and other people hurt. Otherwise your years of drive, uh, driver's ed training uh, is all for waste.